नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू ए क्विक रिवीजन इन अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज थ्रू अ शेयर्ड पीडीएफ नोट्स इन आर्बिट्रेशन कंसिलिएशन एंड अल्टरनेट डिस्प्यूट रिजोल्यूशन सब्जेक्ट टोटल 30 टॉपिक्स हैव बीन कवर्ड यू मे डाउनलोड कंप्लीट नोट्स फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन लिंक और फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट कमेंट ऑफ द वीडियो इन दिस नोट्स वी ट्राई टू कवर ऑल द मेजर टॉपिक्स व्हिच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द लॉ स्टूडेंट्स फ्रेश लॉ ग्रेजुएट्स and for the competitive exam point of view those who are also interested in adr like mediation arbitration they would also have get sufficient benefit with this notes let's start the topics which all are covered in the entire notes are as follows arbitration arbitration agreement appointment of arbitrators arbitral award set aside foreign award conciliation appointment of conciliators death of a party on arbitration agreement effect of insolvency of a party on arbitration default of a party on the arbitration agreement settlement on the conciliation proceedings termination of conciliation proceedings resort to arbitral or judicial proceedings arbitral award arbitral tribunal court international commerce arbitration alternative dispute resolution mediator lok adalat icadr correction modification of awards and additional awards execution of arbitral award legal service authority act 1987 new york convention geneva convention appeals estoppel res judicata and the last one is medola so let's start the topic in detail and regarding the notes as i shared before you may download complete notes from the description link or from the first comment of this video now just concentrate on the topics i am going to describe all the topics in detail let's start arbitration what is the meaning of arbitration arbitration meaning settlement of the dispute by the decision of one or more arbitrators regarding the scope of arbitration arbitration is no more and no less than litigation it is a civilized way of resolving issues avoiding court proceedings covers civil commercial trade contractual and industrial disputes what are the types of arbitration few types are listed here like ad hoc arbitration contractual arbitration institutional arbitration statutory arbitration what is ad hoc arbitration ad hoc arbitration is sort the business transactions issues between both the parties contractual arbitration that is sign contract between both the parties for arbitration institutional arbitration to approach a specific institution like arbitral tribunal decided in advance whom to approach and what is statutory arbitration that is imposed by law of land characteristics and nature of arbitration extensive act self explanatory statute rules restrictions of judicial powers detailed procedure for conduct of arbitration enhancing the power of arbitration there are qualified arbitrator and no appeal against award in this one right here is like that and what are the objectives of this act objectives are covers international and domestic arbitration related issues arbitral award should have reason need to monitor whether arbitral is working in their limit minimize the court procedures permit to arbitrator tribunal for mediation conciliation arbitrators decree should be in the same manner as arbitrator generally used to pass the award and it equivalents to degree what is the importance importance are as follows importance you can have choice 
to choose the mediator. It is problem centered, privacy and informal atmosphere, freedom to negotiate, improved relation, emotional sides of dispute. Next topic is arbitration agreement. What is arbitration agreement? Agreement between the parties with essential conditions that is should be legal and binding between the parties. That is called arbitration agreement. It should be in the document form with both parties signed. Kinds of agreement, future dispute and present dispute. Essentials of arbitration agreements are as follows. Valid and binding, maybe an contract form or separate agreement must be in writing and must be signed. Now appointment of arbitrators. Appointment of arbitrators used to be done under section 10. It means free to determine the number of arbitrators. It should be in odd number like 1, 3, 5. Section 11 of the Arbitration Act, that is arbitrator nationality, is not an restriction. Parties are free to agree on a procedure of appointing the arbitrator or arbitrators. If both parties fail to appoint arbitrator in the agreement before then, as per this section, both parties may appoint one arbitrator each then. Both parties further will appoint one arbitrator, which will be called preceding arbitrator. Means, dono parties arbitrator agreement ke according arbitrator ko appoint kar sakti hai. Ek ek dono party appoint karegi. Uske baar fir dono parties decide karke ek tisre arbitrator ko appoint karegi. Jo tisre party appoint hoga, usko preceding arbitrator kaha jata hai. If both arbitrator fails to appoint third arbitrator within 30 days of this arbitrator appointment process, then may approach to chief of high court for domestic arbitration and the chief justice of India for international arbitration. If any parties fail to appoint solo arbitrator, then a verb rule will apply, may approach to chief of high court for domestic arbitration and to chief justice of India for international arbitration. Appointment of arbitrator by chief justice would be final. No appeal against them that can be raised. While appointing arbitrator by chief justice or any institution authorized by chief justice should consider few points as qualification of arbitrator. Arbitrator should be independent and impartial. Section 12. Grounds for challenge. Doubts of his independence and impartiality. Arbitrator should inform in writing before appointment about any independence or impartial issue. Lack of if uh, he is having any lack of qualification ground, then his appointment can be challenged. Section 13. Procedures to challenge. Parties are free to agree on a procedure for challenging an arbitrator. Parties may send challenge request within 15 days against the appointment should be written request with reason. Arbitrator should leave the post during challenge. Arbitrator award may challenge under section 34. Section 14 and 15. Arbitrator be terminated. And what are those grounds? If fail or impossibility to act in case of undue delay, person fail to perform due to physical condition, person fail to perform due to legal way, either he withdraw or leave the job if arbitrator is having any interest in the subject matter, not capable to perform his duty or in case of his death or the last one if any of the parties approach to the court. Section 34. Arbitral award set aside. Set aside means cancel the award. As I shared before, in the arbitration, award used to be passed. And in the cases, uh, civil case, decree used to be passed. So, as per section 34, what are the grounds where arbitral award can be set aside or cancelled? If parties request an application in the court, if able to prove other parties unsound mind, if arbitral agreement is not valid, if not given proper notice related to the arbitration, if dispute not mentioned in the agreement and award been passed, then it can be done. Otherwise, award is not related to the actual dispute as per agreement. If procedure not followed on appointment of arbitrator, 
if matter cannot settle the dispute, if award is against the public policy, else need to challenge within three months against award. There is a three months time period to challenge the award. What is foreign award? An arbitral award on difference between persons arising out of legal relationship, whether contractual or not, considered as commercial under the law enforced in India, made on or after the 11 October 1960 and 28 July 1924. 11 October 1960, when the New York Convention has been done, and 28 July 1924, when Geneva Convention Awards has been done. Section 44. New York Convention Award 11 October 1960. Section 53 Geneva Convention Award 28 July 1924. Definition of foreign award. An, an arbitral award is said to be a foreign award if it has a foreign element in it. And what are the essentials of foreign award? That is held in a foreign land by foreign arbitrators foreign law is applicable, foreign nationals is involved as a party and the subject matter of agreement is international, award made in foreign country. These are the essentials. When foreign award is binding, it has been met by regular proceedings. It complies with the formalities required for an arbitral award. It becomes final when application for setting aside is refused. Evidence for the enforcement of foreign award original award or a certified copy, original agreement or a certified copy. If in foreign language, then a certified translation would required for the enforcement of foreign award. What are the conditions? Conditions are as follows. Applicable only if other parties also part of New York Convention. If dispute is commercial in India, then only applicable. If not received any proper notice, then this award would not be valid. Any violation of law of set aside. I am again repeating for your convenience that you may download complete notes from the description link or from the first comment of this video. Here what I am going to do that I am just trying to explain all the topics and accordingly you may refer the notes and conduct your further studies. Now the next topic is conciliation section 61 to section 81. Definition. Both the parties with their consent solve the dispute with the help of neutral third person. is called conciliation. A scope of conciliation are commercial transaction only covers in the conciliation process and it's, it is used within and outside the India. Like it means it can be used globally. And the point used to be noted that the, in the conciliation process only commercial transaction used to be conducted. Commencement of conciliation proceedings. Written invitation sent to other party with brief of case. Proceedings will start when the other party accepts the invitation in writing. If other party not reply within 30 days, then also conciliation will not valid. Conciliator only can assist both parties. Appointment of conciliator. Number of conciliator as per section 63, generally one but on request of parties may add up to two or three. If more than one conciliator appoints, then all need to work jointly. As per section 64, conciliation appointment has been done upon mutual agree of both the parties. will suggest one conciliator name. In case of three conciliator, both parties will assign each and then together the third one may approach third person as well to appoint. Solo conciliator should be of another nationality from the party. Procedure to follow by the conciliator. Written statement seek from both the party. Exchange of written statement within both party. May ask for other evidence too. Role of conciliator as per section 67. Assist to both parties to achieve settlement will observe principle of justice, principle of justice means fair, impartial etc. will observe parties request, check background etc. may propose settlement, may take administrative assistance. 
death of a party on arbitration agreement then in that case no discharge of agreement means it will be enforceable by or against the legal representative of the deceased no termination of mandate it means mandate of an arbitrator shall not be terminated not to affect the operation of law if the death of the party on arbitration agreement used to be happen then not to affect the operation of law what is the effect of insolvency of a party on arbitration it will not be invalid it depend on the receiver if he accepts the insolvency default of a party on the arbitration agreement if the claimant fails to provide written statement to the arbitrator tribunal then the case will be terminated if the respondent fails to communicate his statement to defense then arbitral tribunal will not close the proceeding any of the parties fails to appear in the court or not able to provide any evidence still case will be terminated these are the grounds when the default of a party on the arbitration agreement used to be done a statement on the conciliation proceeding as per under section 74 same status and effect as an arbitral award shall be final and binding on the parties does not require future authentication if signed by the conciliator termination of conciliation proceeding what are the grounds for the same by the signing of settlement agreement by the parties written declaration of the conciliator after consultation with the parties written declaration of the parties addressed to the conciliator by written declaration of a party to the another party and the conciliator resort to arbitral or judicial proceedings this section provides that during conciliation parties should not initiate for any arbitral or judicial proceedings until necessary to preserve his rights now come to the next topic that is arbitral award it is a final judgment of the arbitral tribunal and arbitral award includes an interim award essentials of arbitral award are as follows must be in writing must be signed by the arbitrator or arbitrators will given to the competent parties only not for unsound mind party minor etc it should be related to the arbitral agreement subject matter only should not against public policy should be under jurisdiction of arbitrator registration of award is not necessary types of award there are four types of award that is final award interim award domestic award foreign award final award jo ki finally last mein milta hai interim award jo ki during the hearing beech mein immediate kisi cheez ko rokne ke liye milta hai domestic award within india jo award pass hota hai foreign award on the foreign land the award which has been passed that is foreign award what is arbitral tribunal either single or panel of odd numbers of arbitrators should not be even numbers include in this tribunal court the principal civil court of original jurisdiction is a district and includes the high court is called court it is must that the principal civil court of original jurisdiction international commerce arbitration any party in dispute belongs to any foreign country any party who has international residence permit now the important topic is alternative dispute resolution that is adr the definition of adr is any method of resolving disputes without litigation without litigation means outside of the court is called adr evolution of adr it is from vedic time in india like panchayat gathering or family council courts appointed by king like uh, adhikrita and nirpa marathas period panchayat system muslim period qazi we also used to call hidaya what are the advantages of adr it is more flexibility adr is speedy less expensive option to select your own arbitrator results kept confidential preserves relationship parties or parties participations finality of award cannot repeal in adr what are the disadvantages of adr 
no guaranteed resolution possibility of bias decisions are final no appeal would be granted in that one discovery limits not more evidence used to collect more opportunity of abuse of power lack of power to establish legal precedents what are the types of adr arbitration pre trial mediation means before a trial begins mediation third party neutral as a mediator negotiation in that no third party involved conciliation through conciliator listen separately conciliation under civil procedure code under section 89 through court order lok adalat medola if the parties fail to reach an agreement through mediation then a neutral person arbitrator will be called to final the proposal which will be binding on both the parties essentials of adr bringing the parties to the negotiation table identifying problems establishing facts clarifying the issues developing the options for settlement ultimately reaching agreement nature of adr adr techniques are extra judicial character can use in almost all matters provides best solutions especially in commercial disputes only option to litigation mediator next topic is mediator who is mediator neutral person uses a specialized communication and negotiations technique and facilitates parties to resolve their disputes work as a referee mediator does not decide the dispute but helps the parties to communicate he control over the outcomes in is in the hands of parties no appeal or revision in a mediated case who can be a mediator any person who completed 40 hours training provided by the mediation and conciliation project committee steps involved introduction joint sessions separate sessions and then agreement now the next very important topic is lok adalat lok adalat adalat hierarchy is are as follows just let me show you okay lok adalat firstly indian judiciary then supreme court high court subordinate court village panchayat lower courts in district level like civil court lok adalat criminal court a special tribunal like that introduction it is one of the component of adr also known as people of the court or people's court based on the principle of mahatma gandhi lok adalat is a judicial setup purpose for peaceful resolution dispute between litigation parties same nature cases involves in this like non payment of electricity bill phone bill etc power is equivalent to ordinary civil court like summoning examen taking evidence who are the members of lok adalat sitting retired judge judicial officer as chairman two members lawyer or social worker cases suitable for lok adalat are as follows money dispute matrimonial dispute cases of unpaid bills family dispute motor accident all damage cases unpaid loan cases partition suits land related cases award from lok adalat shall deem decree of civil court shall be final and binding on all the parties no appeal would be considered in the award passed from the lok adalat what are the advantages of lok adalat justice at no cost speedy justice solving problem of backlog of cases award is final without appeal focus of lok adalat focus on compromise when no compromise then re reverse back to the court if compromise is reached and award is made and binding on the parties then it can be executed enforced as an decree or on parties award is final and cannot appeal lok adalat in india kerala state legal service authority andhra pradesh state legal service authority karnataka state legal service authority goa state legal service authority and few more are there now the another topic is icadr it means international center for alternative dispute resolution the icadr 
ICADR is an autonomous organization working under the Ministry of Law and Justice. What are the objectives of ICADR? Objectives are as follows to promote different modes of ADR, to provide administrative and other support, to appoint conciliators, mediators, etc., provide teaching and training, to develop infrastructure for research and education, to arrange fellowship, scholarships, stipends, etc. Corrections, modifications, interpretation of award and additional award. It can be checked over here. Within 30 days upon receipt of award or any time period agreed between the parties, one party may request through a arbitral tribunal by giving notice to the second party for any correction or for interpretation of the award. Upon justified request within 30 days, arbitral tribunal will correct the same. Arbitral tribunal self notice the error then also can take initiative to correct the same within 30 days. If any one party is not agree, even other party can request with the tribunal for correction by giving notice to the other party. In case of justified request of corrections received from the parties, then within 60 days will provide additional arbitral award. These are the few grounds when correction, modification, interpretation of award and additional awards can be done. Like within 30 days and there are two conditions A and B. Upon justified request within 30 days, arbitral tribunal will correct the same accordingly. It can be done. If uh, otherwise, if, if other party is not agree, one other party can request, then also it can be done. Now, a part of that, we are proceeding for the next topic. The Next topic is execution of arbitral award. District judge will execute the award. Arbitral award are enforced as a decree of the court. An award is final and binding on the parties. Once the award is met, waiting period of 90 days to follow before to apply the appropriate forum for execution. Court has authority to enforce the award concerning a sum of money, attachment of property, etc. Court is also capable to ground grant an anti-suit injunction to prevent the award being challenged in other court. Legal Service Authorities Act 1987 Introduction It has been formed to solve below three issues majorly that is justice for poor, long time pending cases, challenges due to public officials involved in the cases. Who can avail free legal service? Scheduled caste or scheduled tribe, human trafficking victim, beggar, woman and children, a person with income less than prescribed amount from the state government, person with disability, a person in custody, victim of natural calamity, caste violence, etc. What are the mechanisms? Body at the national level, body at the state level, body at the district level. National level service legal authority. Chief Justice of India, Executive Chairman appointed by President with consultation of CGI, retired judge, other members with the consultation of CGI. A scope of work to lay down policies, frame most economical schemes, utilize funds and make allocation to state legal services, give training, organize legal aid camps, encourage ADR. State Legal Service Authority, Chief Justice of High Court, Executive Chairman, Retired Judge of High Court appointed by Governor with consultation of Justice of High Court. Other members from non-legal background as well can be part of a state legal service authority. What are the scope of work? To give legal services to needy person, conduct low adalats, maintain accounts, prepare reports and gifts to National Legal Service Authority, coordinate with Legal Services Authority at the district level. Now the district level service authority. It includes district judge, additional member appointed by consultation with high court, organized low adalat and district level. Now we are going to understand two conventions which are very much important under the ADR. That is New York Convention. New York Convention has been done on 11 October 1960. 
it is also known as the convention on the recognition and enforcement of foreign arbitral awards it comes under section 44 to 52 there are nine sections involved in that one it is defined in part 2 schedule 1 it has been drafted by united nations and ratified by more than 150 countries other one is geneva conventions which has been done on 28 july 1924 it has been implemented with the idea from mr henry donan it comes under section 53 to 60 and it covers eight sections it has been defined in part 2 schedule 2 red cross committee along with 12 countries signed the agreement in 1864 for help of war soldiers geneva conventions expansively defined the crucial rights of wartime prisoners instituted safeguards for the injured and sick and instituted several protections for the civilians around the war zone basically this convention is about how to treat the battlefield soldiers wounded soldiers should not be tortured wounded soldiers would not get proper treatment then this convention's treaty used to be followed it means that it has to be wounded soldiers would get proper treatment do not get need to attack on medical group while they are giving aid to any soldier in the battlefield Peoples involved in the religious way in the battlefield should not get attacked, ratified by 196 countries currently. United Nations Security Council, UNSC, keeps eyes on the countries to ensure to follow the rules. Now, the another topic is appeals, which comes under section 37. Types of appeal. Appeal against the court order, which may be interim measures under section 9. Award set aside under section 34. Appeal against the arbitral tribunal order. Lack of if lack of jurisdiction if lack of uh, jurisdiction uh, used to be done. If interim measures under section 17. Like in that case, no second appeal can be done and may approach to Supreme Court as well. Estoppel. What is uh, the meaning of estoppel? Estoppel means mislead the other person by giving false statement and cannot back off with his own statement. It's called estoppel. Res judicata. It means for the same case you cannot appeal again and again after the judgment in the same court or equivalent to the same court. Medola. Medola is uh, the type of ADR. Medola is another method of ADR. It is used when the arbitrator fails to reach an agreement between the parties. A decision then is made by a neutral independent person elected by the parties to conclude the process. Such an independent neutral person who may be the original mediator or an arbitrator will select between the final negotiated offers of parties and such selections will be binding on the parties. So these were the all complete 30 topics which we covered today and all these topics what we narrated over here is also available in the PDF form. You may download complete notes from the description link or from the first comment of this video and you may go through that. I tried to concise all these notes in a very short manner. So and in the point wise form so you can easily refer the same thing i really hope you would find these notes useful in case of any